Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in this beautiful planet of ours. This is Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector, here for another Metaphysical Mocha Mondays here on the Intuitive Prospector channel. So going to just give it a second. Uh, if people could share out the feed, uh, that would be fantastic. This morning, I'm going to be talking to you about life path and how the path is never a straight line. Something I wanted to share with you, uh, my own uh, journey, my own insights. So just gonna give it uh, just one more uh, minute. Uh, we got a few spiritual prospectors joining me this morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate you being here, having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with me. Uh, good morning, Ari. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Dave. Uh, just giving some shout outs to Rod, April, Karen, uh, Nikki. How are you guys? Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Carol. So grab your coffee, grab your tea. If you're new to the page, uh, make sure to turn on the notification. You can just touch the screen. If you're watching from a phone, uh, there is a notification to turn on. And you can also subscribe to the uh, Intuitive Prospector channel. So anytime I go live, uh, which is every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Metaphysical Mocha Monday. It is a inspiration show to get you ready for the week ahead. Uh, we're in our second season and I love doing this. I love connecting with people. I love community. I love talking about metaphysics, spirituality, meditation, mindfulness, intuition, awareness, mediumship, psychic, you name it. Uh, that's what this show is all about. So we're going to spend the next half hour talking about uh, a few things. So I've got my cup of coffee this morning. I'm having uh, my first uh, uh, cup of coffee out of my new cup, which is the Arthur Finley College in Stansted, England. Uh, we like to call it Hogwarts. It's a spiritual college focused on, on uh, psychic, on mediumship, on spirituality. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Colette. So uh, thanks for sharing out. And for those that do share out this to other pages, I really appreciate it. I am tracking those that share out. And at the end of this month, which is just in a few days, uh, we're in November now, I guess, heading into December. Um, I hope everybody here in the United States uh, had a great uh, Thanksgiving holiday and everybody was safe, safe travels. Hi, Thawamba. Uh, but for everybody that shares out the page, uh, I am keeping track of that. And at the end of this month, uh, for those that either share out the page or those that subscribe to my uh, Intuitive Prospector, uh, what I call um, Soul Adventures Library, it has over 215 videos now. Uh, if you subscribe to either one of those, I am tracking new subscribers and I am uh, tracking those that share the page out. You will be entered into a free 30 minute reading with me. Uh, it could be a spiritual assessment, could be numerology, could be mediumship, could be a psychic reading. Uh, and I'll be, well, I won't be picking, but spirit will be picking uh, one person uh, at the end of the month. So I'm trying to, um, you know, grow the page without spending a lot of money marketing, uh, but grow the message, grow and connect spiritual prospectors uh, to connect to community, to go out and make a difference in our world as uh, humanitarians, as light workers, uh, and just to make a change within yourself. So this morning, uh, I'm talking about the life path, and there's a few things I wanted to start with. So in order for us to start, you have to have a cup of coffee, you have, a, you have to have a cup of tea or something uh, to drink with me, because we're, we're hanging out having a spiritual chat. And this morning, I want to read um, from a book that I got. It's called Medi Meditative Thoughts and Visions, and the author is Charlotte Sue O'Hare. Uh, I got this book when I was in England. Um, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. Hopefully, um, the sound quality is okay. If it's not, please let me know. Uh, but I want to talk about um, uh, today is the first day, and it's a little bit of a meditation. So go ahead and just take a deep breath with me. Let's get into the magic of the moment. Because today is all you have, right? Uh, there are no guarantees for tomorrow and you can't do anything about yesterday. It's our memories that make the past real and it's our imagination that makes our future real. Uh, but neither one is. So this is a meditation to get you started for the week ahead. Again, this is an inspirational show to set the tone and get you ready for the week ahead. Today is the first day. Today is the first day you step forward to begin your adventure. Yesterday is gone and irrelevant. Today is what counts. Today is a blank page with no mistakes. It doesn't have any goals or decisions. May you not be ashamed of what you put on that page. May you have no regrets. May no one be harmed. May you learn, be proud, and take cheer from what you put on that page. Let today be when you hug and love family and friends. Let today be when you let them know that they are special to you. 
Let today be when you hug and love yourself. And that is from my meditation book that I picked up when I was in England. And it's called Today is the First Day. And that's the book itself. And the author is Charlotte Sue O'Hare, if you want to check out. It's called Meditative Thoughts and Visions. Uh, it's something I wanted to bring to the show. I'm also bringing uh, a new aspect to the show, uh, which is color, working with color. So I'm going to give you a prospecting stone for the week. I'm going to give you a numerology number to pay attention to for the week, a totem animal spirit for the week, and now adding color uh, to the uh, makeup of what is Metaphysical Mocha Mondays, an inspirational show to get you ready for the week ahead. So good morning. Let me see. you got a couple more. Uh, at Wendy, good morning. Thwamba, uh, anything for me will appreciate um, Tara, good morning. Um, Victoria, good morning. Good morning, Mom. How are you? My mom's watching. Um, hello, Nicole. Hey, guys. As far as the messages go, uh, stick around at 8.30. I'll be back on for the prospecting Q&A after show. That's the direct conversation. Uh, that's where I'll be doing reading, spiritual chats. Um, be happy to give you messages. Uh, pull a card for you. I got my cards ready to go. Uh, but the, the first... 20 minutes of this show is dedicated to an inspirational message uh, to guide you and get you ready for the week ahead. That's what this show is about. So I'm going to turn off the comments. So I just want to say thank you to all the amazing uh, spiritual prospectors that are hanging out with me this morning. I am going to put a link uh, real quick uh, in the feed. And for anybody that wants to subscribe to my YouTube playlist, the link is now in the comment section. I am tracking new subscribers to my YouTube channel, which is my Soul Adventures Library, and also any new subscribers to my uh, Intuitive Prospector page and anybody that shares out the page. So this morning's message I wanted to talk to you about, um, the path is never a straight line. And what I mean by that, there was, you know, there was just some things you know, that I was thinking about during uh, this morning's meditation. And there really is no straight line where you're going. That's something that's taken me uh, years to figure out. You know, I used to think that, that life was a straight line, I guess. And, um, you know, in the spiritual path, that's where we talk about the spiritual spiral, where what we resist persists and it, things keep coming back into your life and you keep coming back against uh, new lessons or new opportunities. And for me, um, you know, it, I was told if you, if you went into a straight line and you did, you did things like you were supposed to, uh, you know, in the end, you'd get to where you're going. You know, so I went to um, grammar school, check. Went to high school, check. Um, went to uh, the military, check. Uh, went to college, check. Uh, gained uh, internship, uh, got gain gainfully employed, check. Uh, purchased a house, check. Got a 401 uh, retirement, check. Um, got up into the whole rat race of society, keeping up with the Joneses, if you want, check. Um, but along the way, did you, did I, did I capture my passion? Did I capture my fulfillment? Did I capture, um, the meaning of life? And it wasn't until I'd gone through great tragedy and great trauma of losing both my brothers, one to murder, one to cancer, uh, my father-in-law to multiple sclerosis, my real father to throat cancer. All of that changed me. And, and, and I realized that all these boxes that I had been checking, um, of this, what I thought was a straight line, was actually not a straight line. And it reminded me of the, the quote from Joseph Campbell. And this is one quote that's really stuck with me in my spiritual journey. And everybody's, everybody's journey is different. I, you know, I'm not saying that my journey is your journey. I'm just saying that the, the life that we envision is not always a straight path. There are ups, there are downs, there are hills, there are valleys, there are mountains to climb. Um, and, it, if you, it, and this quote comes from Joseph Campbell. It says, if you can see your path, laid out in front of you, step by step, you know it's not your path. Your own, your own path you make with every step you take. And that's from Joseph Campbell. And I love a lot of his quotes because the other one I, that I love is the cave you fear holds a treasure you seek. And a lot of times we're, we're, we're so uh, fearful or scared to take a leap of faith that we just go with what people want us to go or we live our lives according to other people's wishes and, and check that box, if you will. Check that box of that straight line uh, reality. Uh, but as far as, you know, um, what's, what stuck with me with what one of my mentors had talked to me about was there is no straight line to getting where to, to getting to where you're going. And, you know, it, it's just interesting that I, you know, I, I thought I'd just share this with you um, that, you know, if you're checking boxes and you're fulfilling other people's wishes, um, could be family, could be spouse, could be friends. Uh, you're not living a true, authentic self. You're not living a true, authentic path. And, you know, this this morning show is just to kind of get you to think of, you know, 
what that straight path looks like for you. What does that, um, where is that path taking you? What passions are unfolding uh, for you? There's another quote by Buddha that really sticks out to my mind, and it talks about you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and your affection. And a lot of times, um, you know, the path that we, we we walk in order to become who we are. You know, if you would have told me 10 years ago that I'd be on Facebook Live talking to you here today, uh, talking about this subject or doing readings or doing mediumship or spirituality um, or really uh, going out and caring about our planet and our world as a humanitarian, uh, being a light worker in service to other people, I would have I would have shaken my head because it's it's not the path that I thought that I was going because I had in my mind all these checklists that I thought I would follow. But the, the, the path is never a checklist. The path is never a straight line. And it really is a lot of hills and it really is a lot of valleys. It's going to be a series of uh, dips and loops and ups and downs and forgettings and rememberings and awakenings. Um, but in the end, um, when you realize that the failures and disappointments are, are questions are far from stumbling blocks. I, I, don't, I don't believe in stumbling blocks anymore. Um, I like to say that our failures, which for me is first attempt in learning, um, I always say fell often fell big because they're stepping stones. They're not stumbling blocks. They're stepping stones to where you are going and who you are becoming. And a lot of times people... Um, you know, that do follow that checklist um, straight line path. They may be successful. They may be uh, uber rich. They may be uber successful in what they're doing. But, you know, with talking with people and interviewing people on my show, Inspired Living Radio, um, we've had some amazing guests on that have had access to some very big, you know, uh, very big names in society. <coughs> Excuse me. And a lot of the feedback that we've gotten when they're counseling or, inter or interviewing them or talking to them is they don't have a lot of happiness. They don't have a lot of passion. They don't have a lot of meaning. They've just done the checklist and they fulfilled that checklist, but then they're left with uh, an empty void, if you will. And so this morning, uh, I wanted to share with you about fulfilling that empty void. <coughs> As I start coughing, uh, that's uh, also one of the ways the spirit world co <coughs> comes through and gets to start blending with me. So we might be doing a little bit of mediumship this morning. Um, as we get ready for the prospecting Q&A after show. Because uh, I haven't been coughing all morning, so I don't know what that is about. But thanks for joining me this morning. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your protein shake, share out, uh, leave a comment if you like. I've got the comments turned off right now just for the fact I'm doing the main show, uh, which is an inspirational show to get you ready for the week ahead. It's on Monday. It's the least favorite day most for most everybody, especially if you're coming back. <laughs> I apologize. <clears throat> having a coffee attack, especially if you're coming back from a long Thanksgiving weekend here in the United States. Um, you definitely don't want to go back to work on a Monday. You're just like, oh, I want a, a few more days to hang out and eat some uh, leftover uh, turkey and, and some uh, pumpkin pie. And So um, that's what this show is about. And uh, I'm going to give you a crystal for the week. I'm going to give you a color for the week to pay attention to, a spirit totem animal for the week, and also a number for the week. But this morning, I'm just talking about your straight path. Is life a straight path for you? Are you checking all the boxes like I did? I, I did all the boxes. I checked all the boxes. I uh, went to college, went to graduate school. But I just didn't still find any passion or happiness in, in those accomplishments. They are accomplishments. Um, went to the fire academy, graduated from the fire academy, did eight years in the Coast Guard, but didn't find my purpose and my meaning until I started getting into my own spiritual path, my own spiritual work. And a lot of times, um, you know, what I wrote down is uh, for all the time that you've spent thinking, searching, stumbling, uh, thinking about the straight and the narrow, the safe path to travel, um, the safe way to live, you were mistaken. Uh, because when you follow that safe path, when you follow that, um, that straight and narrow um, and know that life is not straight and narrow, that there's going to be a lot of, like I said, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of turns, a lot of um, rethinking, you know, what you're doing, coming back to asking the question, who am I? Why am I here? What am I doing? Um, and just know that, you know, it, when you've made it to the mountaintop and you realize that you're there all along the way, you've been there. That's who you are. And that's where you want to get to. You want to get to this mountaintop right here. And you can tell that getting to this mountaintop is not a straight path. There's going to be trails and different ways that you're going to have to overcome. There's going to be different conditions, snow, rocks, um, uh, heat, cold. The, the journey of life is much the same way. And learn from your experiences is, is what I would, would you know, recommend to you. Um, you know, 
fail big, fail often, first attempt and learn. That's what failure is. Use your, um, what some people you know talk about as a step back, as a stepping stone. And you know, just realizing that you are, um, I'm going back to the quote, uh, in, in, in following your own path, living authentic, not what other people tell you. And if you can see your path laid out in front of you step by step, and for some people it is laid out for them step by step, you know it's not your path. Your own path you make with every step you take, and that's from Joseph Campbell. And that's going to be your mantra for the week is, if you want to look up that quote, um, you know, just remembering that uh, the, int- the, the difficulties of your life path are part of the process. They are part of making up who you are. Um, the shakening causes awakening. You know, it's interesting. A lot of us on the spiritual path, and we talked about this at the college, um, and just talking with other people that are international and around the world, a lot of people that come to this awakening, and it's a slow process. It's not, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it's because of some sort of life tragedy or life um, change or alteration, and they start to see life differently and realize that, you know, life is more than just a nine to five job and, and uh, you know, trying to make money for a company to make a bottom line. It's about your journey. It's about your life. And the, you know, the, the, the soul adventure takes you through the mountains. It takes you through the valleys. And, you know, um, it's a beautiful process. It, it, it's, uh, you know, it can be painful. It can be um, pleasurable. Uh, but you can't have one without the other. You can't have the pleasure without the pain is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And I never thought in a million years that my tragedies, my own personal tragedies, my own near-death experience would actually put me on a path to find fulfillment and uh, meaning and joy and actually being able to help other people. So it's, you know, it, it's it's not a straight path. It is a spiral. That's, you know, every, think about it. I've always been fascinated with the circle. So I've got the, the I've got my wedding ring on. Uh, we live on a planet that's round. The galaxy spins in a circle. Everything is connected at some point. Um, the circle of life, uh, the circle of, of death. Um, it, just look around you. Just look at how many things that are. I'm just looking at my desk around me. Um, how many things are circular? This is circular. Um, uh, my singing bowl right here. My uh, my water bottle. Um, it, I'm just fascinated with the, the concept of the circle. And again, if you think about your own life, the life is never that straight path. It is a circle. And there's things that come back to you. There are people that come back to you. And there are lessons that continuously come back to you. So that's what I wanted to talk about uh, this morning is that your your life is not a straight path. It is um, going to be ups and downs, hills and valleys, uh, dips and, um, you know, be okay with that um, because there is no straight line to getting to where you are going. And that's today's message. So I hope that helps. Um, for those of you that may be asking, well, how do I find my meaning? How do I find my purpose? Um, the power of meditation, the power of spiritual development. I do offer an online development group called SDG, Spiritual Development Group, if you're interested in visiting, to see how you can find your purpose, to find your meaning, to connect to your higher self, to connect with the unseen world. And, you know, a lot of people, when I first started down this journey, a lot of people thought, you know, who know me personally thought maybe I'd gone a little um, crazy or flipped my lid uh, because I started to see the world differently because of the tragedies, because of the trauma. Trauma permanently changes you. It rewires your brain and it rewires your thinking. It rewires your belief system. And that's what the trauma did for me. It didn't, it didn't, um, you know, it didn't make me crazy or, or lose my mind. It helped unlock a door that had been closed for many years. And now I see our physical world here, but I also connect to an unseen world that blends with our world right here. It's just at a higher vibration. So some would call that heaven. Some would call that um, hell, I guess. Uh, but it, it really is just an unseen world that's blended right here with our own world, a world within a world, if, if you will. And some of us, you know, get to access that because of uh, either being born naturally with it. Some people talk about being born naturally with uh, the power of mediumship or psychic abilities or understanding the intuition, the language of the soul. Um, other of us have had to work and, and have to unlock and unfold uh, that journey through a lot of mentoring and studying and, and development weekly. So if you're interested in learning more about the work that I do or unlocking some potential within yourself, Go to markleanhart.com. You can also send me a private message on the Intuitive Prospector page. Um, and also you can uh, you know, um, check out the group. Uh, we're going to be starting back up. We, we take the month of December off, but we'll be starting back up in January full time. Um, so you know, with the holidays, it gets a little crazy. But um, 
reach out to me. See if I can help you. That's that's what I do. Is I help uh, you know other people. I, I'll show you the door, but you have to walk through it. As the as the saying goes. Um, so I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me this morning. I'm going to get into your um, your uh, inspirational sign symbols, synergy, and synchronistic events to pay attention to uh, for the week. And then at 8:30, we'll be back with the prospecting Q and A after show, where I will directly uh, have a conversation with you. Uh, maybe give you a reading. Uh, maybe give you some. Um, uh, some insight to what's going on. Uh, maybe it's mediumship. If it is mediumship, I will ask you to come on to Facebook Live and have a conversation with me uh, where we'll split screen uh, and uh, do mediumship because that's, that's the only way I do mediumship now. Is I need to directly talk with you and get the yeses and the noes and make sure I have the right person that I'm representing the spirit world uh, and the, the person in the spirit world correctly. So not a lot of what you see on TV. Um, it, I don't do mediumship that way. So um, the first one I want to give you is our new, is my new focus this week, and it's color. Um, I think it's important to work with color to understand uh, why you wear the clothes. You know, I'm wearing green this morning. Green is the color of the heart. Green is the color of um, healing for me. Um, plus, my mom always says I look good in green. So there you go, mom. Um, giving you a shout out. Uh, but I'm going to be working with color cards this week, and, and part of my spiritual practice when I came back from England after being in England for almost three weeks at the Arthur Finley College, um, I really just had a desire to work more with colors as part of the uh, auric field, which is your spiritual skin, uh, the colors that are around us every single day, along with <clears throat> along with numbers. So I don't know what is going on with my throat today. I can't talk. So. I also want to let you know that our last show for Inspired Living Radio of the season of the 2018 season will be this Wednesday. We will be taking live callers. So if you have questions, you want to be on the air with myself or my co-host Kim Falcon in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we're going to be talking about our favorite shows throughout the year. We had a lot of great shows. Um, uh, you know, We have a show every Wednesday. So if you count up how many shows or uh, most Wednesdays we had a new show. But we had a lot of amazing guests. Um, really great Topics. We're going to be talking about that as our last show of the 2018 season. Uh, we'll have a live call-in line, so you can call into that and ask us questions, um, and just you know maybe share some of your favorite shows. And then we're already planning for 2019. We've already booked up in January, moving into February, so we have some amazing shows coming up. So that's Inspired Living Radio. You can get all of the podcasts off my Soul Adventures Library on YouTube. Uh, you can internet search Inspired Living Radio on the Ohm Times Radio Network. It is an internet-based show, so you can listen to it from anywhere in the world on any device. There's no username, password, none of that crap. Uh, and it's a live streaming show. And we're, we're live every Wisdom Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going into our fourth season, if you can believe that. Four seasons of radio. Wow. Well, five seasons, because I was on a radio show before that. And... Uh, I called the hour to empower and then we moved over to Inspired Living Radio. So I hope you'll join us for our last show and uh, the last show of 2018 for Inspired Living Radio where we like to say you are the inspired and the inspiration. So let me give you just uh, before we wrap up and get into the prospecting Q&A after show, the color for this week is the color pink. So I know it's backwards on the video, but it's, it's talking about letting love in. So this week, uh, as we move into the holidays, which is the holidays is about family, friends, giving, uh, some like to receive, but it's about giving. It's about doing something for the holidays. Uh, you know, maybe buy somebody, a homeless person, uh, a meal. Um, you know, take an animal out of the cold. Um, light a candle to remember somebody. Uh, give somebody a hug or smile at a stranger. The little things, but let the love in. So the color pink is coming up for you today. Uh, that is your color of the week. Uh, the uh, totem animal spirit for the week is the bumblebee, the bee. And the reason I picked the B is because it's time to get organized and get to work on that idea that you want to implement and develop. And this is a great time. This is what I do. I take the whole month of December off. I, I move away from readings. I move away from the radio show. Um, I'll still be doing Facebook Live. But I, I really kind of scale back because I don't do this work full time. I actually have a part-time job and I run a company, a CPR first aid company. Uh, but I love the spiritual journey and I love the spiritual practice. But I like to take time off to write. Uh, to work on my newsletter, to work on my um, certifications through the Spiritual National Union uh, for mediumship and writing and understanding the concepts of mediumship. So I take the whole month of December off to also plan for the 2019 season. And as we move into 2019, that is the year of the three. So the three is about balance, mind, body, and spirit. So the, if you see the B, the B is just a reminder to get organized and work on that idea that you want to implement and to develop. Uh, approach your projects with commitment, diligence, and dedication, and you'll succeed beyond your wildest expectations. Involve several, several others in, in a cooperative and life-affirming venture 
one in which everyone who participates will benefit, and if possible, one that includes the entire community. Just like the bees work in community, just like the bees work in social structure, um, that's your uh, totem animal for the week is the bee, the color pink to let love in. And again, thinking about the message of today that there is no straight line to getting where you're going. It's going to be, you know, a lot of spirals and a lot of, of uh, changes for you. But start to think for yourself. Don't have, don't fall into social conditioning just because, you know, s Facebook says this or uh, society says this or the news says this. Think for yourself and think what brings you peace, joy, happiness, meaningfulness, purple, being purpose, uh, having passion for what you want. And knowing that in order to get to that final destination, whatever that destination is for you, it's not going to be a straight path. There is going to be a lot of uh, mountains and a lot of hills and valleys. So the number for this week is I picked the number 32, uh, which is music. Uh, 32 is the number of uh, five. And if we look at the numerology pathway um, of the five energy, uh, as we move into the month of December, this is going to be the last show of November, I guess, now that I think about it. Uh, the number five is, you know, coming back to that music that I was just talking about, um, because it's a 32, music can really unlock potential for uh, visualization, manifesting, mindfulness of what you want to accomplish. And, and it, take the month of December to really think about 2019 and what you want to do. The 32 adds up to five. And then the five energy is all about being the freedom, love, and adventure in numerology, about, you know, getting out into nature. Um, I know next month we're going to be starting Snowshoe Saturdays, getting back out into nature, which is our greatest teacher, our greatest healer. Uh, but listen to music. Music can really inspire you and get you thinking. Meditation music, uh, rock music, uh, hip-hop music, classical music. Uh, use all those music and those tones to really set an intent for what you want to accomplish in 2019, knowing that the path is not going to be straight and anticipate that the path is not going to be straight, that there's going to be a lot of uh, winding curves along the way. But have that, you know, that goal set and that passion, that mindfulness and that determination to what you want to accomplish and to live your life authentic the way that you want to live it. Not because somebody tells you to, to check box that, you know, get another check box, uh, create a bucket list. If you're going to do a checklist item, create a bucket list where you can start checking off the things that you've really wanted to do or the things that you've been fearful about doing. That's a cool list to really uh, get into and have an attitude for gratitude. What are the things that you're grateful for today? So, last but not least, going to leave you with a little bit of iron. Iron pyrite, P-Y-R-I-T-E. Iron pyrite is an excellent energy shield. It blocks out negative energy and, and, and pollutants at all levels, including infections and diseases. Uh, you can wear it around your neck. It's an iron kind of, um, uh, it's, it's gold or brownish. You can get it pretty much in North America, Chile, Peru, Britain. It's easily accessible, but it's called iron pyrite. And you can wear it around your neck. You can wear it on your wrist, and it just it, it's a it's a deflecting stone. It deflects harm, it deflects uh, danger, and it also is a uh, great uh, protector stone. So, wanted to give you the iron pyrite for today as your crystal, uh, your prospecting stone for the week. And again, I'm just going to finish off with the quote that I started off with Joseph Campbell, knowing that again there is no straight line to getting to where you're going. If you want to hang out for a little bit, I am going to be back here in about 30 seconds for the prospecting Q and after show while I have a direct conversation with you. Uh, please subscribe to my new uh, to my new to my Soul Adventures library. There there is a link, and uh, I am tracking new subscribers and those that share out this page for a free 30 minute reading with me at the. Uh, Beginning of December, I'll wait until the end of December or the end of November um, to pick the name and have Spirit pick that name, and then we can have a conversation for 30 minutes. So, I want to just thank you for uh, being here with me this morning, all the awesome spiritual prospectors in search of your own spiritual goal. I'll be back next Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern, for more inspiration to get you ready for the week ahead. And again, I'm just going to leave you with the quote. Uh, this is the mantra for the week as well. You can look this quote up yourself. It's from Joseph Campbell. And it says, if you can see your path laid out in front of you step by step, you know it's not your path, your own path you make with every step you take. And with that, just know that there is no straight line to getting to where you want to go. Um, have a great week until our next soul adventure together. Be kind, be caring, be compassionate. And I will be back here in about 30 seconds for the prospecting Q and after show where we will have spiritual chats, spiritual awesomeness, readings, and even maybe a little bit of mediumship. So have a great week and I will see you next Monday. Namaste.